Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, pure resonance holders of eternal life. The clear light of bliss of infinite source creator is flowing through the meridians and channels of our inside ground crew team of Terra Nova Gaia. We are in a type of holding pattern as the layers of the veil are being stripped away, keeping us within the safe ranges of higher frequencies until we make our quantum leap into the new earth. All starseed earth angelics of the 144 are resolving all interference patterns that have been held over 5D pristine true earth for many eons as we release and let go all attachments and limitations of the old false 3D earth. As we move swiftly and gently into the great shift of the ages and the perfected alignment of the eternal harmonic convergence, we fill the void with infinite life and call in our highest, most blessed timeline in this now and consciously co-create the transformation and manifestation of the paradisiacal reality Gaia has always evolved to be. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand of our Universal Alliance of Light with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our Sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of the Shield of Protection. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Upcoming Eclipse and Equinox. All beings we used to be physically anchored in the 3D, now we are free to sail new seas and free waters. Truth clears the lie, and reality is the dream. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Melissa Lyron, a shocking wave of energy rippled through the field about two hours ago. It shook the ground, it pushed our collective into another quantum layer. Everything is very intense feeling. We can see the future. We are the ones the Looking Glass Tech talked about. It is us. So many booms today, it's happening fast. I'm just in awe at the power that comes through. It is unstoppable. I'm hearing this is just the start of the major energy shifts. It will explode with unbelievable power soon. Shaking this false matrix to the core and continuing to separate and bifurcation the old earth timeline away from us. New earth, new beginnings. This energy is very different. This is our true state of being, turning back on in multiple realms. This is the quantum shift to the new earth. It's indescribable by words alone. It's bigger than a universe being born. It's the essence of the spark of life once highly compressed, and now it's being released without restraint. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire, today's oracle, a few times in one's lifetime, we find ourselves at a crossroads. These junctures didn't appear just in that moment. Rather, an energy built in time, sometimes many years, before that level is attained and the physical life can change. They are the energetic results of all the many little moments when it wasn't right. These days, these weeks, there is an opportunity to let go, release, and end old chapters for good. Right now it feels more scary than light. However, we know the only way will be through, and the more fluidity and less resistance one brings to the transition, the smoother this will be. We always have choices and free will. One doesn't even have to do this. Nevertheless, if we think of the long term as well as feel again the past and why this is suggested now, an answer will be more clear than the other. Those times are key, big and huge, 
Past, present, and future collide for a whole game change. Faith. We are in this together. We are all pushed. Walk in trust. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Gabriel de Pleiade. The rays of light from the great central sun through our earthly sun entering strength. Now you are protected. There is stability, security. Your heart is aligned. Follow your instinct. Take time to reflect on that inner balance and harmony within you with nature. Although many extreme experiences are experienced in nature, there is also calm and sweet days with a radiant sun, a light breeze, and pure heaven on earth. Cherish these moments in nature, in your life, in your inner being. Step into the calm, the pause between breaths, before your next breath, even now. Step into your heart, step into the divine being now, for that's all there is forever and now. And love, I bless you now. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 9724. If you're not yet over a specific wobble or two in your life, today can bring clarity and direction. Part of September's mission is to leave you centered, balanced, focused, and motivated. This is the most action and outcome oriented of all of 2024. And progress will be more challenging if you're not feeling strong and prepared. So as you travel deeper into the month, you must be confident in your choices. Each day will give you two contrasting options. Your right action is to use them both, integrate them, and make them work in your favor. Today wants heart-based strategy. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right, no matter how many shoulds are attached to it. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. Stargates are open, flares are non-stop, retrogrades abound, two eclipses and equinox, and a lunar moon all in September. While prepping for the equinox, this message came through. Please open your hearts and minds to the magic and miracles unfolding. Notice your own. People's hearts that have been frozen are melting in love. Those who cannot feel this love are becoming less comfortable and clinging to what their egos know as familiar and conceptual, not realized. Self-concepts are conceived in the mind and based on assessments and attachments to thoughts formed about experiences, created on the linear plane of consciousness and bred by expired realities. Self-concept is both dual and conflictual in its nature. It is a restraint as well, keeping one beneath their potential, possibility, and freedom. You are not meant to live in the shadows of your own potential. You are meant to shine and radiate with the brilliance of your unique perspective, passion, and purpose. New geometric patterns of living consciousness, organized, amplified light intelligence, are daily streaming through the skies, dispelling density, concepts, and polarities within your body's temples. These new configurations are interacting and communicating within you in service to activating and harmonizing your conscious, self-realized divinity. Remember this, your consciousness goes beyond this incarnation. Each one has access to their higher consciousness far more readily now via the holy fire and the holy heart of this present quantum acceleration. Every being of light from here to Lyra and beyond is holding the space for us with so much love for each. May love, peace, and blessings abound. From MaureenMoss.com And from Divine Energy Works, Ascension Energies leading to 99 Gateway Portal. Powerful surges of galactic energies are carrying upgraded crystalline light codes of higher ascension and activating new coding within our DNA, leading us towards the upcoming 99 Gateway Portal and the Libra Equinox. This is triggering a heavy collective cellular clearing and release of past timelines and lifetimes. This includes the deep trauma of separation, lack, limitation, victimhood, primal fears, and karmic energetic patterns and cycles. 
The clearing is shifting us away from duality and separation consciousness and bringing us back to the heart. Much of this release is happening in the astral dream state where profound healing takes place. There is a continuous restructuring and upgrading of the sacral and throat chakras. This alchemical process is merging the divine feminine and the sacred masculine, both within and without. Through these upgraded energy centers, the retrograde portal 2024, with five planets currently in retrograde, is intensifying this process. It is facilitating a massive collective purge of lower vibrational energies, karmic patterns, and childhood wounds that are still lingering in our energy field. 99 Gateway 2024 is massive this year. With the Ascension Synchronicity Energetic Encoding 99 and 999, carrying the vibration of completion, closing and endings of the karmic cycles, belief systems, and karmic timelines that are taking place on the personal and collective levels right now. DNA upgrades and nervous system upgrades are coming through this portal. We will be working on energetic repatterning of the nervous system and receiving upgrades through various energy centers and working closely with the crown chakra energy center, continuing rebalancing masculine and feminine energy. I will be bringing through reveries of powerful clearings of old energetic patterns and cycles energies of various programming and limiting beliefs, and sending activations for improving our ability to process and integrate various forms of information, activating new neural pathways and strengthening existing ones, improving the communication between cells, which leads to a more efficient and harmonious function of the body systems. Balancing the nervous system, allowing the body to respond appropriately to stress and relaxation cues. Energetic attunements for emotional regulation and resilience. Allowing to process emotions more effectively and maintain a balanced emotional state. Crown chakra activations, sacral chakra activations, and upgrades for the emotional regulation mastery. DNA activations and more that will come through into your energy field. From Divine Sister of the Light Mary Long, everything is shifting and as we shift into a higher corridor of expanded consciousness, the old third dimensional ways are dissolving. There is no going back to the way things were. The economy is collapsing, many large corporations are filing bankruptcy. Meanwhile, we are heading into a new era a new way of being. As we contemplate on how to navigate through these shifting times, it can feel a bit overwhelming. Just remember how far we have all come in our endeavors to bring more light into this planet. This is what we have been working towards. We are so used to having things right at our convenience, yet many are beginning to spend less money and are more focused on family, survival, and spirit. This is all happening for us so that we can continue to shift into a more sustainable way of living. To learn to live in balance with Mother Earth and all life as it should have always been. Greed, corruption, and destructive living will eventually fade, and we will all thrive in peace and unity. The oligarchs that have controlled everything are either stepping down or doing everything they can to continue lying to the masses in order to sustain themselves. Yet the light is so bright and our love is so strong, there will not be much fearful energy for them to feed on. Even though there may only be millions of us working to balance the light and the dark, it only takes a few to ripple across the lands, our love for all life, and to live in oneness. So do not fret, dear ones. These are new beginnings for us all and we will continue to thrive in the newness that we are all creating out of our love for all life. Although in the old ways we thought humanity had freedom, when truly we did not, we have all been under a spell, a spell of forgetting who we are as spirit, forgetting our power to create and thrive in this physical world. It will cause much more chaos as others go forth in fear, 
and is up to us to continue bringing prosperity, love, and understanding to all to comfort them during these times of change that must happen for all life to live in freedom once again hang in there whatever tries to bring us down only makes us stronger don't even try to wrap your head around it all because overthinking it just makes it much harder we shall forever thrive in the light and the darkness will come to balance and life on earth will finally be free from those who have ruled this world only for themselves will no longer exist we are the new earth now and we continue to thrive in the essence of the divine light we are born as so it is amen from divine sister of the light natalia alba beloved ones many of you are now experiencing a profound shift in frequency ascension occurs when we embody higher levels of love moving into a more illumined state of being and as a consequence of the previous we raise our consciousness stepping into a more evolved timeline which is what many of us are already living this month offers us unique frequencies to co-create with and expand our hearts the love that we are and our personal missions are especially with the piscean eclipse we are going to expand our sensory abilities connecting with our god source and descending all the guidance required for us to continue expanding into our chosen role on earth during this transitional state of being many will feel confused and unfamiliar with their surroundings even with their loved ones and everything that once resonated with them in these phases is when we most need to trust surrender and move into a higher understanding zone one of compassionate and neutral witnessing of all we are feeling realizing and remembering moving into a space of acceptance is essential when we are constantly embracing change as the more we shift and evolve the less familiar we will feel with ourselves and others it is important to support the mental transformation that we are having by removing old beliefs and adjusting to the new truths we are now descending from our god self with these truths a new understanding and knowledge of who we are will come and with it more responsibility especially towards our mission to serve others in our unique way emotional and mental clearing during these times is essential to clear old wounds feelings and everything that emerges from the depths of our soul in our healing and clearing work being willing to take responsibility for all we have ever done, embracing pain and letting it go once integrated. Many of you are telepathics, empaths with extra ability not just to feel but to receive, help heal and filter the direct transmissions you integrate from others, not only humans but animals and all living forms and places. For those of you who are telepathics, this is a time to protect your emotional bodies for the transformational healing energies that accompany us during this month. Especially the Pisces Eclipse will enhance your abilities to clearly feel what others are feeling. For as I shared, the mission of telepathic souls is to receive, filter, and transmute the transmissions they receive from others, bringing healing and clearing as i see in sessions many of you have as a personal mission different contracts with many of earth's locations and as telepathics you will receive the call of these places and the souls who have perished in them for you to help them in soul retrieval to achieve your mission especially during this time of great planetary metamorphosis first being replenished and protected at an emotional level is key to being able to fully discern your feelings from other feelings what is yours to carry and heal and what is only yours to filter and let go taking care of your emotions and body is key to being able to fulfill your mission as when the body is energetically collapsed the mission cannot be achieved which is as guides always share another form of protection for us and others not to interfere when we are not yet ready to do so being compassionate with where you are and your body is of utmost importance in our ascension journey 
Taking care of your divine vehicles and your emotions is also another important part of our personal mission, and the most important one for what we do for ourselves we do for all. Therefore, see the love and healing required first in ourselves so you can expand it to all. Surrender and allow the divine to transform your life. Within infinite love, from NataliaAlba.com And today, from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, talk to your DNA, physical light expression through the vibrational cords of light are asking us to feel the multidimensional expression of you. We are receiving, activating, awakening the human template of light believed to achieve. The cosmic frontiers of now welcomes us, together in light, Global Light Alliance, together in light, from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James. Today our sun in Virgo is opposite Saturn and Pisces. Expect a lot of magical energy for all the signs. Pisces represents spirituality, oneness, compassion, intuition, and the divine. Water connects us to our emotions. It's a great time to restructure your routine. This alignment may slow things down. You may feel extra delays and restrictions. These energies may be revealing obstacles in your path. These energies are meant to help you overcome what has been holding you back. We are wrapping the summer up and are shifting closer and closer to the autumn equinox. We have also already stepped down the doorway to eclipse season. That means the energy may feel unpredictable. The lunar eclipse in Pisces on the 17th will bring us into a new season of change. Today's alignment highlights a tension between what your ego identity wants versus what might actually be good for you. It's important that you're seeing things from a long-term lens. It will be bringing a lot of reflecting energies. For some, you know your path, you're just scared to take it. This eclipse season is about releasing ego, past patterns, spiritual rebirth, and opening up to new perspectives. Eclipses are moments where we step into our fate and destiny. These celestial events align with the north and south lunar nodes, pushing us to move toward our life path and break out of our comfort zones. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma On Saturday, September 7th, the sun, ruler of the lens, through which we shine our light, is in Virgo, the innocent maiden, and will be opposing Saturn, ruler and teacher of karmic responsibility, in Pisces, the sign that rules the spiritual realm. So while Virgo loves to analyze and understand the workings of something, here she is trying to understand the whys of choosing certain lessons in this lifetime and what it all means. Can you trust, on a deeper level, that it was all for a greater purpose? Perhaps you are going through a crisis in faith these last few days. Rest assured, if you tune in and listen, a greater understanding will eventually come. Saturn rules delays and patience. So if you trust and have faith in a greater plan and thoughtfully consider any soul lessons you are experiencing, then you have, at least in part, conquered what Saturn is currently attempting to impart to you. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun in Virgo, sesquiquadrate Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Mercury in Leo, square Uranus retrograde in Taurus. The third time's a charm. Radical thoughts, conversations, or realizations around the Mercury retrograde period are now ready to come to fruition. Inwardly, a small, harried voice presses for action. Under these influences, we're anxious, terrified that nothing will change, afraid to take control, and afraid not to. Gift yourself the time needed to find your footing. Embrace quirky humor to chase away fears. Life is naturally, delightfully unpredictable. It's okay to be nervous, scared, and a little excited. Tiny steps can catalyze big changes. 
Let others concentrate on their business whilst you focus on your own. Do not allow perfectionism to get in the way of a powerful transformation. If you find yourself criticizing, gently question your expectations. Mercury's connection to Uranus is a nudge to think outside of the box and color outside the lines. Approach problems from a different angle. Ask different questions. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 62, White Planetary Wind. The number 10 is called planetary, and its keywords are perfect, produce, and manifest. The 10th day is associated with the word perfect, and so expect a perfect day with a score of 10 out of 10. How did the number 10 become associated with perfection? In all cultures, not just Mayan, the number 10 is the number we measure everything by, simply because we have 10 fingers to keep count on. Can you count up to 10 ways in which you can enjoy today? Make a list and see what you can manifest. Today is white wind, which represents communication, breath, and spirit. Naturally, by combining the number and day, the result is a perfect day to communicate. Why not send a message, sing a song, engage in public debate, voice your concerns, or have that talk that you have been putting off? Remember, we are journeying through the wave spell of the Red Skywalker that invites us to be more adventurous. Can you muster the courage to say what you really want to? White wind days are also great for communicating with spirit. So expect unexpected messages from coincidences, dreams, or random encounters. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Planetary Wind, 10 Eek, Keen 62, 7th of September 2024, Communicating from the Heart, Keen 62 equal 8, Infinity Abundance Source Flow. The winds of spirit are liberating our planet today through the power of love. Day 10 in the Red Skywalker wave spell of awakening, exploration, and expansion. Today we manifest awakening to more love and bliss. We channel the breath of spirit from our heart into the heart of Gaia, then up into our sun, then into the great central sun, the galactic sun, and then back into source brilliantly aligning through this holy portal today. Layer upon layer of connection to spirit through our heart portal, raising our collective frequency and anchoring the golden solar Christos Sophia frequency that was birthed yesterday on the planet. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical. Action produces power perfects essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the Red Skywalker wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible, and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. What great romantic dreams are you harboring? Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with Spirit and Mother Gaia today, as well as our beloveds. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia, as we are all one heart. An absolutely beautiful divine gift from Spirit today, these waves of divine love, Enfold our planetary body, teaching us to cherish the expression of love on our planet and our connection to all that is, through our beautiful, pure hearts. At our core, all souls are pure love, multifaceted diamond gems. Use this loving power wisely for the highest good of our planet and our earth family. We must unite together through the power of higher love and hold the highest intentions for producing our best utopian dreams, manifesting heaven on earth. Today's question is, how can I expand my heart through listening to spirit in order to manifest planetary transformation through the power of love? Divine blessings for following your heart whisperings. 
on the path to manifesting personal and planetary liberation and abundance. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 62, White Planetary Wind. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to communicate, producing breath. I seal the input of spirit with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of heart. 1111 Gateway Flowing In. And now we complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light Sitara Lutz, Shield of Protection. Beloved Archangel Mikael, I invoke your energy, your light, your guidance, and your protection now. Please wrap me in love and place around my auric field and my being your new triple protection light bubble. Wrap me in a protective pure white bubble, a vibrant electric blue light bubble, and a sacred golden light bubble to ensure I am protected on every level of my being at all times. Ensure I only experience the Creator's love in my reality and energy. I am safe and protected always. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, sacred, and restful Sunday tomorrow as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.